What does it mean to look at an object? It seems in many ways the most straightforward activity in the world. To take a bottle or a glass placed in front of you and scrutinise it, to look at it. It's had a long and continuous history <coughs> looking at objects uh, in Western art, starting with the ancient Egyptians where they would often paint fruit or bowls containing objects they wanted to take into the afterworld, reappearing in Greek and particularly late Roman painting. There's a fabulous painting preserved in Pompeii of a glass bottle containing fruit. It then emerges again as a sort of bit player in great religious narratives of the Renaissance. So a glass or a, a, a jar with, with flowers in it would add a sort of background significance to a religious painting. It then makes a little bit of a sort of detour where it isn't very, <coughs> very well thought about in neoclassicism and emerges vigorous and energetic in the 16th and 17th century in Holland uh, and in the Low Countries where uh, there was an endeavour to try and find a new significance for the emerging ordinary uh, lower middle class where um, the uh, objects that surrounded their lives uh, began to take on greater significance. In a way, it was the beginning of trying to reposition significance from the great epic religious and cultural uh, religious dramas um, of the political outside world and reposition it back into the home and into the domestic. The 20th century, uh, with the advent of modernism, shows a great interest in looking at the overlooked, of relocating the significance and trying to find a, a great genealogical history where an object that was seen as a low object was repositioned um, with greater significance. Um, so, in some ways, it seems the most straightforward of activities, looking at a jar or a bottle, but in many ways it's a highly political act. It's saying this humble object of no significance is now an object of great significance. It's elevating the ordinary to a status of the extraordinary. In some ways, it's a celebration of domestic, the uh, bringing into focus the feminine within the idea of a political discourse. The great Swiss painter, painter uh, Paul Klee once said that the object is not the subject. The object you're looking at might be a jar, might be something of the everyday, the ordinary, but its significance and its transformation of significance is the true subject of it. And that's what we're going to be looking at today.
Dance me to the end.